welcome to Coding for Kids. My name is Rithika and today I am going to be teaching you guys coding. So this is a new channel where kids can come and they can learn all coding techniques. And when they have a doubt, um, there will always be a video to solve for it. So this is the very first video. So on this, um, in this video, I'm going to be um, showing you um, how to access a platform that I love and it is totally free and um, I'm also going to be showing you a really really simple game while doing it so um, without further ado let's see how to access this platform um, and this is um, a platform using all block code so you're not gonna really be doing any typing but my favorite part about this like program um, is that even though you're doing it all in blocks it's gonna show you what it is in typing code so you can always learn so um let's say i don't have because this is a platform we're going to be using code.org but let's say i don't have it as a shortcut so how you're going to access it is you're going to go to your google search bar and you're just going to type in code.org and um I'm just gonna go to it. And then you're gonna see all these links, but the one you really want to go to is right here. And you'll see this little link and you're gonna click that. So now that you're here, you're gonna sign up. Um, I already am, actually, I'm already signed up, but if you, um, it's easy to sign up. So you go to the sign in. And then if you haven't joined, you can create an account. Now you could do this with Google, Facebook, or Microsoft, or you could just um, put in your email address, which is what I did. I just put in my email ad address and password. But of course, you don't need to do that. So you can continue with Google, which is the simplest way. And then if you just choose an account, um, it'll um, create an account for you. Um, so I am not gonna set up my account just because I already have an account. Um, but this is, um, you know, this is what you need to do. And then if you go to go to my account, it's gonna finish it. So it's a really simple sign up process. Um, and it's really easy as well. So I am going to sign in to my um, account. And now you can see that this is my account. And I have lots and lots and lots of projects, um, but um, this is how you sign in to code.org. And most of the videos too are going to be in this. So you really wanna, um, you know, have an account for this. And then when you, so of course you're gonna need to create a new project. So you're gonna go to view projects and then here you're gonna have create a new projects. Now these four are the most common one common ones and these are the ones we're mostly gonna be focusing on. But if you go to view full list, you'll see that there are a bunch and bunch and bunch of other like programs you can like code on. So um you of course you know these are the most like common ones are going to be using but like let's say i am really into star wars um and i really wanted to create something with star wars instead of you know going to sprite lab which is just like this um but go when you go to sprite lab it's just general so you're gonna have like flowers butterflies if you really are interested in star wars you could just you know go and do this um but um, the main ones we're going to be doing again are these. So um, this is how you access code.org. Now I'm going to go on to my really, really simple project. Um, and like any beginning coder could usually do this. Okay, so you might be um, seeing a blank white screen. So this is, so first we're going to just be going over one process call um and i call this the coding plat um program process um and these four steps will let you successfully create your own very own project or game so um you might be wondering what are these magical steps that you know will make you have a successful game so um again these are what i call the coding um i guess I call them the coding uh, 
processes to success. So what are these, you know, wonderful, you know, steps? So the first one is to find the purpose of your game or app or project or whatever. So what do you want it to do? For example, let's say I wanted a game. It's like a racing game. It's a car game. And there are rocks on the road. And when you drive your car, your car shouldn't crash on the obstacles like the rocks or trees or whatever. So you're going to find the purpose. This is... Um, um, you know, you're going to find the purpose. What is this uh, supposed to do? Um, and, you know, you can't start a game without finding the purpose. Um, the purpose of your game could be easy, just like this car game, or it could be complex, like do a search engine or create a search engine, um, which is a little bit harder. So you're first going to find the purpose. Sorry. You're going to find that purpose okay so after you've done that the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to design it so you might when you think of coding you're gonna think of coding you know you're gonna think think of code and you're gonna think of commands and functions and um, loops and stuff like that you're not really gonna think of designing but think about it um if I'm just gonna think about like a really popular game right now for kids, which is Among Us. Um, and in Among Us, uh, it's not just like a blank white screen, you know. Um, it's not just even the like actual characters. You're you're gonna need to design them. Um, so design, even though it's like not the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of like coding, it is actually a very important step when designing any type of game. So design is a very important thing. And um, the thing after that is to code it. That's what coding is. You're gonna need to code it. So um, you could use loops, you could use functions, you could use commands, you could use, you know, um, so many things. You could use um, like for loops, you could do, uh, lots of things. So you're gonna need to code it. And coding, to be honest, and I'm seeing the truth, it does take a time, some time to learn, but once you learn it, you can apply it to so many games and you can just be as creative as, as you want. So these are the three steps to actually making like a game, but then you're gonna want to test it out, which is really important. Um, if you don't test your game out, you could find little bugs that, you know, might happen when um, the play the person is playing. For example, let's say I was playing Minecraft, which is super popular as well. Um, let's say there was a bug and I'm just using the worst thing ever. Let's say your character is it moving like um uh, you press all the keys nothing's working you can't see anything it's a blank white screen that's a bug and that's something that you need a code so you're always gonna want to test it out um even like actual big game creators they're not just gonna like make the game and then just publish it right away they're gonna have a whole team and they're gonna like see um are all the aspects of this game working. They're gonna test it out. Even, like, and I'm just saying the truth, a game could be finished three weeks before, but you need time to test out every single aspect of it, because it's not a good feeling when your players can't really do anything. And when, like, the people using your app or game, it's not working for them. So these three um, important steps are really important when making any type of game. So um, you can just take a screenshot of this or you could just write this down because this applies for every single thing you make. It is really simple, but it is very effective and this will always lead you to success. Um, so also um, a good tip is to have a folder or a binder or a notebook um, and writing down lots of key concepts. So um, if you're struggling with something, having a notebook or something will really help. 
So if you have something like that, or just take a regular piece of paper and write this down. And also write down your password and your username for your code.org account, because it is super important, because that's where we're gonna be doing all our games. So now I know you are tired of hearing me talk. So let's actually get to the um, fun, you know, coding process. So um, that will be right next. Okay, so now I am back in code.org. So here I am on my dashboard and I am going to create a new project. So I'm going to view projects and then here it's gonna say start a new project. We're gonna go to this um, app lab and you'll see like a phone picture and you're gonna click that. So when you click that, it's going to load all up and you're going to see just a blank thing. It's fully blank and it's almost like a canvas to paint on. You know, we can fill this up with whatever we want. But first, we're going to rename our project. So today um, I am going to be making a game where you press a button on the screen and it's going to change the color of the background. So it seems simple enough. So let's make the game. So you can name this anything you wanted. Um, I'll just say uh, color screen, I guess. And then I'll save that. I put screen. Okay, screen. Okay. So that's way better. <laughs> but first, um, let's look at our little list and it says find the purpose so we already know the purpose and our purpose is to create this game where we press a button and it's gonna change the color of, of the background of the screen so we know our purpose now we need a design so when you go to code.org you're gonna see these three little um i guess you can say three little buttons and you're gonna click on this design part and that's where we do our designing. So um, you're gonna, of course, you can change the color of your background, but you're gonna change it anyway. So I would recommend for it to be white. Um, and you can name your screen whatever you want. I'll just say uh, screen color. It's not gonna make like a huge difference. And also, um, this is our ID. And the thing, the thing about our ID is there cannot be any spaces. So you can't put a space. It's not working, as you see. Um, so you're just gonna have it all as one word, which it's the ID. So it's not that big of a deal anyway. Um, so we're just gonna leave this blank. So all we're gonna do for the design part, it's super simple. Um, so these are all the design elements. Um, so you can see we got uh, a button, text input, a label, drop down, a drop down menu, a radio button, checkbox, image, canvas, screen, a text area, a chart, a slider, and a photo select. So um, the mo the most like common ones we're gonna be using on this channel is the button the text input and the label. Everything else, it's gonna be very rare, a rare, but um, this, like this game, it's not gonna include all of these, um, but it's gonna include the label and the button. So um, first we're gonna add a label right here. And um, we're just gonna keep the text as press the button or something like that. So press the button below and you can see that that is really wonky so i'm just gonna kind of make it to the center and then i feel like it's kind of small so i'm going to keep the font size here as let's say we'll keep it as 20 i think that's a good thing yeah or maybe actually i think 40 or yeah that's way too big so you can kind of experiment like that uh, so I'm just going to do that and, um, I'll just make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So we have, um, the, uh, text done and you can kind of explore with this. So that's the text. So the ID again, uh, you could keep it as whatever you want. I guess I'll just keep it as label and that's it. <laughs> um, cause I don't really need anything else. So I'll just keep it as label. 
then um, the text is press the button below. Then the width is how, like the width of it. So um, there's already preset and I don't really wanna change it, but you can if you want. And then there's the X and Y position. Um, so if you don't wanna drag your label, you can just do it and um, you can just do the X and Y position and um, there'll be no need to drag. Then the text color, the background color, the font family, um, which I'm totally like okay with. I don't want to change. Then the font size, the text alignment, um, the border width, the border color, and the border radius. So we're not really going to add a border, so none of these are really useful. So now that we have um, a kind of text, I guess, uh, to have um you're just going to have a button of course because it says press the button below so we need of course a button so so we're just gonna drag a button okay i'm just gonna put it as centered as i as centered as i can but this is a um id i guess i'll just change it to button and then the text i don't really want it to say button you know uh so i'm just gonna keep it as press me and you can put anything you could put press me you could put touch me you could do um anything you want um you could put some silly thing um you know no one's gonna care you know as long as they actually press it um oh I put press touch, sorry. Um, press me and I'll just put like an exclamation mark. And um, then you can, you know, change the width and height, the X position and Y position, just like we could in the label. Um, we can also change the text color, but we can also change the background color. Now, if you don't like this orange, which is totally fine, you can change it to whatever color you want. Now, I want to change it to like a purplish. So I'm just going to go down the little rainbow. And I'm going to find a color that I really like. So I think this purple really looks pretty. So I'm just going to keep it like this. And that's it for the design. Um, you could add elements to it. You could maybe add like a little picture or something like that. But um, it's really simple. If you do want to add a picture, you just go to image right here and then you would scroll up and um you would choose an image from your desktop uh, but of course we're not gonna have that today but you could if you wanted to so now we are done with step two which is design so the next part um to do is to do um coding or you're supposed to code it so you're gonna go to this code part which we originally started it on and then the coding is really simple so the first block you're gonna see is this on event and um i've learned that really what on event means is when on event in plain english i guess is when so when, so we can just kind of think in our mind, it's not on event, it's when. And the whole thing makes a lot more sense. So our ID, and that's the things that we name like screen color. Um, and you can see, um, you can see that X and Y, which is really helpful. So it gives us our X and Y position, which we won't need today, but it is helpful. And it's helpful. ID. So our ID, is label same thing if we scroll over this uh, um this element the button it'll give us our x and y position id which is a button so uh, when id so when the button okay so when button and you i don't know your id but um just select the id which you put for your button so when button click um so when button click um you know uh so one button click um what's gonna happen is the screen color is going to change so you're gonna scroll to the bottom and you're gonna see um this set property so this set property block here is going to help you out oops so set property right here so again it's near the bottom it says set property um and you're gonna click that button or uh, that code 
block thing. So the idea for this, so we're gonna set the property of the screen. We're gonna change the screen. So um, the ID is going to be screen. So we put screen color. Um, so right here, that's our screen. Now we don't wanna change the width. We wanna change the background color. So we're gonna go here and instead of um, selecting the width, we're gonna select the background color. And you could set the color to any color you want. Um, I guess, of course, don't choose white because our screen is white, but I think I really like this blue. Well, I couldn't see the color of the blue, but I just like blue. So now let's see what happens. So you're gonna press this little run button, which is gonna let your um, your app actually work. So when you press run, you're gonna see this, and then um, you're gonna press it because it says press the button below. So let's press it. And our screen changes color. So um, it does work, but I do wanna change one thing. The blue is a little bit dark and the black is kind of just like, um, kind of like, I guess, fading away, if, I, if that makes sense. So I am going to change it because actually the text in the original text color in code.org is actually gray, but I want to change it to black. So I'm going to go all the way down in the color spectrum right there. And that's going to give you a nice, nice black. Now, when we run and we press it, you can still see it pretty well. So that is our game. Um, I hope you like it. It's super duper simple. Again, it's like one of the most simplest games um, ever. It's just two like blocks of code. And then the design portion also isn't that much. This is probably one of the only games I know where the code, the code part and the design part are not that much. Usually if there's not lots of code, there's a lot of design. And if there's not lots of design, there's a lot of code. But you know, this is actually pretty neat. So um, this was it for the video. The main thing I am going to tell you guys to do um, this week, cause I'm gonna be posting every week, the, I'm gonna give you guys like a challenge um, today or you know, this week. So here are your goals to do today or this week. So first, you're going to try to recreate this game. This game is super duper simple and it'll probably take at most 15 minutes. Um, so, you know, don't like, you know, it's super simple and it's also fun. Like you could add this element or this like kind of feature, I guess, to any actual big app or big game you want. So also, um, try to write down the four purposes or the four like steps to a successful um, app or game um, and try to write that down and like just write it down, memorize it because it'll really help you when building games. Um, and then write down your password and username uh, for uh, code.org because we're going to be doing a lot of coding videos um, on code.org. So I hope you learned something from this video. I will be trying to post every single week and um, each week it's going to get harder and harder, but it's going to get more fun. So um, I will say goodbye for now, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and um, click that red button down below because that's going to really help me and that's going to help me grow the channel and I'll be posting more if that happens. So click subscribe. Also click the like button because um, that'll also help me out. So if you click the like button, um, I'll know that you actually like this video and I might be creating more videos like this. Um, and also click the notification bell because um, I'll be posting and that'll let you know when I'm posting, which is a really good thumbs up. Um, and you can comment down below if you have any questions and um, I'll always be there to answer. So um, if you have any questions, just ask your parents um, and um, you know, you can post it or they can post it and um, I'll answer them in the next video or um, I might answer it in the comment section. So I hope you like this video. This was my very first video, but it was very fun to film. So I hope you have a fun time coding and I will see you later. Bye.